You have heard that in the leaf of the chickpea there is the malic acid and oxalic acid. And you have marked this point important for any exam. But what is the real reason of having this oxalic acid and malic acid? Suppose this is the healthy chickpea plant and one pathogen named Ascochyta rabei attack there and cause the Ascochyta blight. You can see the blight in the leaves. But some certain variety of the chickpea leaf has the malic acid at certain level. They can actually prevent the attack of the Ascochyta rabei, thus prevent the Ascochyta blight. So this malic acid and oxalic acid are actually working as the defense mechanism. In the resistant variety of any crop, there is the production of the secondary metabolites. Those can be phenol, terpenes, tannin, lignin and those helps in the defense mechanism of a plant. Next time whenever you will study this kind of secondary metabolites secreted by any specific plant, be sure that that secondary metabolites are actually helping that plant to prevent or inhibit some kind of pathogen. A detailed lecture on the host pathogen interaction defense system will be coming shortly. Stay tuned with this channel, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.